What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to go through some of my orders that's going out today. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and let's get into it. Alright y'all, so first up is this Nike Windbreaker. This is actually a vintage piece that I caught in the thrift. And this is super dope in my opinion. It's actually reversible and it has like this kind of, not, not necessarily like a tribal print on the inside, but it's kind of like a nice geometric pattern on the inside. It is, like I said, it's reversible so you could wear it either side. And this is really dope. I had this on eBay and on Poshmark. I had it listed for, I think, 69 on eBay and I was taking offers. And then on Poshmark, I had it listed for, I think, 60 and I got a best offer of 50 did some back and forth with the buyer but of course we ended up settling at 50 bucks so this is a really dope piece and i said i like i said i thrifted this and i think i spent maybe five or six bucks on this jacket if this was my size i probably would have kept it but it is what it is um the thing with poshmark this actually sold on poshmark so this is actually really dope but the thing with poshmark that's starting to become very annoying to me and it wasn't always like this but it's just a constant need to share your items in order for it to sell before when i was selling stuff on posh i feel like i just grew so accustomed to sharing being a part of my day but now it's to the point where it's like I'm just I, I don't have as much time to share in my closet as often as I need to so my sales on Posh have been very slow over the past couple of months since like January it's been super slow but it is what it is I'm sharing it a little more often and as a result we are getting some sales this is something else that also sold on Poshmark and this is a super big surprise to me this one sold full asking price last night somebody just went ahead and purchased it for 59 bucks so this was a good sale I've been selling a ton of these sneakers if you guys follow the channel you're probably tired of seeing these skate shoes but for me lately i've been selling a lot of the same exact items that's why i wanted to make more of these like daily style videos but at the same time i'm selling a lot of the same stuff but um this one these two things sold on poshmark so that's really really good and i'm just going to try to share my closet at least three times a day i know what works with poshmark you have to constantly share but sometimes it just gets kind of annoying and you if you're busy like me it's kind of tough to do so drop a comment if you guys how you how your guys sales are on poshmark for me ebay is booming but poshmark is pretty slow but at the end of the day i'm glad we got these two sales next up we got a pair of these salmon color polo ralph lauren pants and i grabbed these from dillard's i still have a maybe 20 pairs of these left we spent about maybe two dollars a piece on these these were actually 90 percent off so of course i'm gonna have to peel this sales sticker off of here and leave the original uh, Ralph Lauren price tag on this but these have sold I think these were selling for 30 bucks free shipping and another quick tip that I have for you guys for those of you that might not be aware there's two different types of these flat rate envelopes there's a longer one which is the legal flat rate envelope and that's I think maybe 20 or 30 cents more than this one lately I've only been using these flat rate envelopes they're they're the smaller versions and in my post office they always have these in stock so I'm you gonna be using these to ship these type of pants out because this is a little more than 16 ounces so i can't ship it first class but i tend to fit it in these envelopes just fine and i'm still saving a little money instead of putting it in a padded flat rate envelope and even though it's maybe 20 30 cents cheaper doing this during the course of a year can definitely add up and save you a ton of money in shipping so like i said these will be shipped out in this envelope and it should save me some money on shipping and i almost forgot to mention that this is an ebay order that's why it's going out in this envelope because if it was going out in poshmark it really wouldn't have mattered next up we got a pair of these golf shoes the i believe these are called the lunar vapor storms i remember i was picking these up from ross for 34.99 when these were the normal price i was grabbing these up and they were sitting for a while i did sell some for like 90 so that was pretty decent but uh, the the price point on these have tanked and now since i was able to get these for only 10 bucks i figured why not so i grabbed i think four pairs of these this is the second one that sold out of the pair out of the group that i got for 10 bucks and they're selling for about 70 bucks maybe some people have them listed a little higher but for me i'm seeing them sell consistently around that 60 to 70 dollar range so this will be shipped out via pirate ship because i can't put this in a padded flat rate envelope because these shoes are a little too big and they're a size 13. so of course i'm gonna rip the tag off of here it still does have the boa tag on here so that's dope and we're just gonna leave those as is and i'm gonna put this uh ship this out via pirate ship to save some money on shipping and it should cost no more than like eight dollars and fifty cents for this to get shipped out next up in terms of ebay orders we got a pair of new balances and i grabbed these from marshall's the other day i think these are only like 12 bucks and that 12 bucks for me let's see how much this is 
I'm not exactly sure, but I kept the price in here. So yes, it is $12 for these. And these were also red tags. So these were on Clarence and Marshalls. If you guys Marshalls in your area opened up, they're gonna have a ton of stuff on Clarence. They even restocking some stuff as well. Cause these weren't there the first day I went and I able to grab these up maybe three or four days after the first day they opened. So if you guys want to definitely go back and check your Marshalls pretty regularly, regularly because they are restocking. And these sold, I think these sold for 50 bucks or 60 bucks. I'll put the screenshot up as usual for you guys so you can check that out. But I grabbed about four or five pairs of these and this one was in a size seven and a half. So some decent profit in these and these will also be being shipped out via pirate ship. Next up, we got another pair of golf shoes and I wish I had more of these because these were selling for me really well. And I grabbed these a few months ago before um, like golf stuff was really selling that big. But I knew during the summertime is when golf stuff does really really well so i think i had maybe 12 or 13 pairs of these i'm down to one pair left so these were selling pretty well and i made some decent profit on these i just wish that the outlet had a little more or if if they probably did and i just i think i think what it was is that i was feeling a little apprehensive on it because at the time the market was flooded but it was a really good deal on these so i'm gonna keep checking the outlets hopefully some more of these golf shoes uh stock up but at the end of the day i'm pretty much all sold out of these so these will be going out today in a padded flat rate envelope. Next up, we got Guitar Hero 2 for the Xbox 360. And I've been telling you guys I'm selling these games fairly often now. I'm just going to check thrifts to spending no more than a dollar, sometimes two bucks on these. And this one is actually complete. The disc itself was really, really clean, so that was good. Yeah, and I think I spent a dollar for this and it sold for 10. So not a ton of profit here, but it sold within the same day after listing it. And that's what I'm all about. So this will be going out first class after shipping and fees i probably made maybe four bucks but it is what it is next up we got a pair of nike shocks here for women and these are really dope i always say how dope these are and i'm just surprised these didn't sell out faster maybe my price point is a little higher than others but it is what it is i did have to spend up a little more money for these from the nike outlet and these sold today um i believe these sold for 69 or 79 of course i put the screenshot but this one sold and i'm i'm all out of the larger sizes so at this point i only have size sevens and i think six which usually take a little longer to sell for me but it is what it is still a really dope shoe and I'll just wait for the right buyer to come along and next up we got another pair of these skate shoes these are actually going out via eBay you got one going on eBay one going out on posh I have maybe 10 pairs of these left I have some small sizes like size 8 and then I only have 11s left so this was definitely a really really good investment I've told you guys before I've sold maybe close to 100 pairs of these um, when all said and done I probably will sell over 100 so this was a really good investment I was kind of like kind of nervous at first because I usually don't spend that amount of money on one particular item but I took a good chance on this one so just let this be known for you guys if you guys come across a good deal you know sometimes you just got to take that leap of faith and just bet on yourself and for me this bet paid off perfectly so I've kind of been making maybe about 25 to 30 bucks every time one of these sells depending on the shipping but it is what it is I'm really happy about these all right y'all so that's really dope because as you guys can see we just sold out another pair of those uh, Nike react vapor 2 golf shoes. So I'm all sold out of these at this point These are both going out today. I have no more shoes. I have no no more of these left We still got some more golf shoes in the inventory, but for the most part these are all gone So like I said, I don't ship out any shoes in these boxes these uh these half boxes that the Nike outlet gives I'm just gonna put this in a padded flat rate envelope, but it is what it is at this point We are all sold out. All right y'all switching things up really quickly I just wanted to share some brands that they, that you guys should be on the lookout for and especially for those of you that actually stuck around to watch this far um these are a pair of no bull uh workout shoes and i grabbed these in the thrift and these were 7.99 and I didn't even check the comps, but I just know Noble sells for a decent amount of money. I should sell these for at least maybe 60, maybe 70 bucks. I'm going to check the comps for this particular colorway and I'll share that on the screen. But that's just what I'm assuming. I'll get at least 60 or 70 bucks for these. And of course, I'm going to clean these up pretty well just so that they can look more appealing. But Noble is a really good brand to be selling right now, especially since workout and like 
any type of workout gear is flying off the shelves. I'm not picking up a ton of used shoes like I used to, but when I do come across the brands that I'm familiar with and I know the comps are good, I'm still taking chances on them. Now, speaking of workout clothes, here's another brand that you guys should be on the lookout for, and this is Gymshark. Now, for those that are on YouTube, I'm sure you are because you're on YouTube right now, uh, Gymshark is definitely one of those brands that they, they basically sponsor a ton of these like fitness influences, so people really do like this brand. And in my opinion, it's pretty high quality. I mean, myself, I, I really do just enjoy Nike and Adidas above everybody else, but Gymshark is pretty high quality, so I'm not going to keep this for myself, but in terms of reselling, I'll flip these all day. I'll probably get 25 maybe 30 bucks for this t-shirt. I'll check the comps. It might have gone down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I can get some decent money for this, and this one is in really good condition, so this shouldn't take this shouldn't take too long for this to sell. We got another Gymshark piece, and these are actually some Gymshark joggers. Um, these are a size large. Now, if they were a medium or a small, they probably would have fit me perfectly and I might have kept these but at the same time I'm all about getting that cash so just like I said this is a size large the original tag is still on here so that's always good sometimes with these Gymshark pieces people cut the tag off because of course they kind of encourage you to cut the tag off but anytime I can find them with the tag that's always a good thing that way I know how, how to list it and it has the logo on the front and on the back of these and I definitely have to check the comps, but I'm assuming maybe 40 bucks I'll get for these. I'll put up some comps on the screen once I find them. But these are definitely some brands to be on the lookout for, particularly during the summertime. Gymshark, Noble, you can't go wrong with these. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button for me because it definitely helps the channel grow. And also, I'm going to start going live every Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Same thing as Pacific Standard Time until the clocks change. But I'm really just going to try to stay consistent with these live shows as possible. That way, I can stay engaged with you guys and answer whatever questions you guys may have. And like I said, I'm really just trying to stick to this. So like I said, Thursdays, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I'll see you guys later today. Peace. Hey. Let's go. First back in the day, and so I can't complain. So I can't complain. For all the times I pray, carnivores don't come take them. Uh, Cause this pop and a pop of tunis, I can't salute it. They raising red flags instead of raising.